Advanced aiming has changed Fortnite in ways people couldn't even imagine. And for the better, you know, with the release of this new addition to Fortnite controller mechanics, the metas for having good aim and being a great all-around player have been evolving like a wildfire. New thoughts, ideas, and uses for the new linear aim have been spreading everywhere. While some players are keen to staying on exponential, some didn't even want to switch to advanced aiming. And furthermore, some would just rather stay on legacy. So, what are all these aiming options and which one should you use? Those are the questions, guys, we're going to be discussing in this video today, all right? What's going on, guys? It's the motivation guy. That's right. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I want to let you know right now that I'm rooting for you, that I'm cheering for you, that I really am your number one fan. I may not be able to talk to you personally, like one-on-one, -on -one, but just know whenever you're going through it, whenever you just want to give up, hey, think about me, man. You got a fan out here that believes in you guys. I really, really do, man. So keep going. Don't give up. Don't surrender, man. There are so many great things that are ahead of you, so you got to keep striving, and you got to persevere. Let nothing stop. You. We don't quit. Remember that. Connect with me on my Instagram. I would love to hear from you. If you guys are tired of getting outplayed and looking to sharpen your Fortnite skills, we got you covered. ProGuys.com is the number one way to improve your skills. We offer on-demand coaching with some of the best players, and if you sign up for our membership, we're going to give you access to exclusive content from players like Benji, Kaz, and Mongrel. Click the link in the description to visit ProGuys.com to start your journey to greatness, all right? So it's time to sit back, relax, and you better get my favorite candy right now. Come on now, don't get tired of it. It's that bunch of crunch. Let's get this going. All right, guys, so First and foremost, we're going to start off with the classic. Legacy aiming is the old style of aiming that has been around since season one of Fortnite. This is the sensitivity that players like Faze, Sway, Ghost, Aiden, and more mastered throughout their Fortnite gaming careers. And all the way up to season nine, they were completely fine and everyone had adapted to it, right? Then came the advanced sensitivity update, which changed everything. When in the advanced sensitivity tab, you can toggle on legacy aiming. And this is going to bring back your old aiming menu as well as the exact same mechanics. Now, what exactly do we mean by the same mechanics? Hmm. Do you guys remember the classic aim assist? Who remembers that? The one that everyone associated with L2 spamming and lock on targeting? Well, believe it or not, legacy look controls allows you to get the exact same aim assist back. That's the good news. Some players have trouble adapting to the newer aim assist, which is in advanced aiming. This can cause significant problems if they've gotten used to the snap-on targeting that used to dominate the meta during all of the first nine seasons. That's why Epic has decided to not only keep the same settings menu, but also the same aim assist mechanics for those players who have trouble switching over. Legacy, however, is definitely still a viable option for today. One feature that Legacy has that advanced aiming doesn't is the ability to have a separate scope sensitivity. You know, believe it or not, Epic actually removed scope sensitivities from advanced sensitivities, which in our opinion isn't very advanced. Many controller players who had incredible talent with the sniper may not do so well on advanced sensitivity. Legacy look controls also offer the classic 0 to 1 aiming slider that can be found in the settings tab. The newest aiming system features a different kind of sensitivity that is calculated based off of percentages, which can be confusing when you're trying to convert if you do decide that you want to switch over. But you know what, luckily for you guys, you can always switch your sensitivity over with just one touch of a button at the bottom of your advanced sensitivity tab. Now, besides lock on aim assist, what other differences does the aiming mechanics have in Legacy when being compared to advanced aiming? Well, Legacy actually has a weaker aim assist pull. You know, although you still get to use the map on targeting, you now have weaker pull towards the opponent when just simply aiming down sights. This is because advanced look mode offers a stronger aim assist to make up for the removal of snap on targeting. Now that we've gone over everything that you need to know about legacy aiming, hey, let's get into advanced sensitivities where we're also gonna be talking about linear versus exponential. With the addition of advanced aiming came a brand new mechanic that Epic likes to call boost mode. This brand new addition to aiming has brought the concept of aim acceleration into Fortnite. Aim acceleration is really an old and popular aspect of aiming that comes in many different shooters such as Call of Duty and Halo. What aim acceleration is, is basically a boost to your normal aim when you flick your analog stick all the way to the edge of its radius. Once you've moved the analog all the way over, your sensitivity will see an acceleration based on whatever value you've put for your boost. 
And boost mode comes in many different styles. It can be used in different speeds for aiming, building, and aiming down sights. When your boost mode is high, you're going to spin uncontrollably fast and as soon as you move your analog all the way to the side. But if it's low, you're going to still feel an acceleration, just not as much. Look acceleration is a great aspect of the new update, but it's going to definitely take time to get used to. Okay, so this feature is going to allow controller players to spin just as fast as keyboard and mouse players, but it's going to hinder their ability to aim if there are players tend to flick their aim a lot. If you do choose to use boost modes, make sure that you practice aiming with flicking too much. By flicking, we mean moving your analog stick all the way to the edge in a very fast speed. Overall, boost modes can make your aim feel very off, so we suggest laying off of them until you figured out some of the other things that we're going to be discussing in this video, all right? The next new feature that was to come with advanced sensitivity is an increased building and editing threshold. You now have the ability to build and edit much faster than ever before, and you could do so on separate multipliers. For example, let's just say that you're a player who likes to play on a higher edit mode sensitivity, allowing you to flick fast edits, but you rather have a smooth and slow building mode sensitivity, so you could do so by setting a very high number for your edit mode multiplier and a relatively lower one for your build mode multiplier. This new change is perhaps the best change in the new advanced sensitivity section, and it has a lot to do with linear and legacy. We're going to be getting into why a bit later in this video. Before advanced aiming, there was just an annoying limit on how fast you could turn on controller, and this will cause many players to be forced to raise their aiming sensitivity in order to be able to build and edit faster. Although this solution worked, it hurt their aim significantly. Aiming on very fast speeds on controller is never a smart idea, okay? Fast sensitivities require great practice, precision, and time timing. And even then, you know, it's just very hard to stay consistent and accurate. The new multipliers are really great, as they allow you to keep a lower aiming sensitivity while being able to bump up your building and editing to as fast as you could possibly ever want. Now, here's where Linear and Exponential come in. Exponential, okay, is your all-around classic aiming style that has been in the game since it's come around. It's outlived the classic aim assist, but now it's being challenged by the new linear. Exponential provides an aiming mechanics that is very important for controller players, to be honest, like the way it works is similar to its name. As you look around and you move your analog stick, the speed at which you turn will vary based on how far you're moving your stick. Slight and accurate movements will result in very small motions, whereas fast pace and wild movements, they're going to result in a fast turning speed. That's what makes Exponential so special. You have the ability to aim slowly while also being able to aim faster whenever you need to. This is also very important for Fortnite as you need to be able to aim well up close and from afar. In the Fortnite Battle Island, there's a great number of situations that you could just find yourself in. You could be engaged in a very close build fight or a very distant shootout from over 100 meters away. That's why it's just so important to be able to have the ability to manage your aiming speed at these distances. This is similar to how a keyboard and a mouse player can make fine movements turn slowly and fast along to turn quickly and efficiently. Besides just distance aiming, you also need to be able to build and edit very well. That's where Linear comes in, guys. Linear aiming is perhaps the newest addition to aiming to this date. Although it was added to aiming mechanics when advanced aiming came out, not many pros had liked it or even gave the attention it was due. Linear is just like a new way to turn and aim in Fortnite. That is very different from majority of shooters. What Linear does is it takes the concept of exponential aiming and completely gets rid of it. Fine movements in the analog sticks barely amount to the speed at which your player will turn in game. Okay, so for example, you can move your analog stick halfway in between the edge and at the center, and you're going to be turning at the exact speed that you set your sensitivity to. This is why a lot of players have started to gain interest in actually using Linear. You no longer have to worry about inconsistencies in your aiming, which can make it harder to be very accurate. But there's one major issue. Okay. You no longer have the ability to control your aim the same way you did with Exponential. Next time you're in a massive build fight and you need to make small aiming adjustments to hit the perfect 200 pump shot, you can't necessarily do that because your turning speed will instantly jump up to its max. Whereas with Exponential, you would have the ability to fine tune smaller movements that would lead up to your max sensitivity once your analog hits the edge of its radius. And this doesn't even affect just close up fights, it can also make it very hard to be accurate with weapons like the AR from medium to long range. Sure, you still have targeting mode sensitivity, but the linear aspect is going to remain the same and you're not going to be able to make small adjustments in your aim. So, in the end, which one is better? So it all comes down to this, although both have their ups and downs, which one is truly the best? 
So Linear allows you to build and edit much better than before as you don't have the slight change in aiming speed when moving your analog. But at the same time, you know, it could just make a very negative impact on your accuracy and how well you can hit your shots from close and far range. With the removal of lock on aim assist, Linear takes an even bigger hit as you're gonna have to be able to track opponents by yourself, which can be very hard to do with Linear. Exponential, on the other hand, offers you a fast sensitivity that can be adjusted based on your needs during a fight. But that small millisecond delay when turning quickly during building and editing could be a cause for concern. But in the end, Exponential provides a better aiming experience and all the scenarios as you're gonna have much more control over your aim and how it's being used. You know, in many of our videos and Pro Guys courses, you know, we've talked about the importance of aiming, right? It's just perhaps the most important aspect of Fortnite. So hindering it in order to get a slight advantage in building and editing isn't really the best option, okay? That's why we're going to have to go with Exponential as the winner of the better aiming method. All right, guys, once again, it's the Motivation Guy. Hope you enjoyed this video. Want to motivate you to be the best version of yourself. So keep going, don't give up, and don't ever quit. Follow me on my Instagram. Would love to connect with you. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. We really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to use code PROGUYS when you make any sort of purchases because, you know, it just really helps us out, and we really do appreciate it. Comment down below what you guys thought about the video and what you'd like to see next. We aim to bring you guys daily quality content, so do us a favor by liking this video. So Subscribe to the channel and show ProGuys.com some love for bringing you this video. We'll see you next time.